Hey, what's up YouTube? Donald Paris 21 here. And I think this is actually the first time I'm uh, showing my face to you guys, talking in front of the camera like this about Vanguard. So, first video doing this. Pretty exciting. So, this is my first rant, I guess you can say, about, um, well, about people getting salty over triggers. You know, we've all seen it. People, people say no guard at 4 damage. Guy pulls a tri critical trigger. <sighs> Lose. Loss. Salt, salt, salt. And then people, and then, you know, it happens a lot, but there are a few occasions where you have that one player that just decides to take his frustration to uh, a level that just crosses a line of etiquette. And I mean, like, insulting the player, just really getting on a personal level with the player. I mean, it's not like, it's not like we mean to critical you, but, you know, not, we don't mean to do that. Uh, blame Bushi Road if you want to complain. Uh, or then again, don't play this game if, uh, if you're gonna be salty about triggers. But yeah, I have a little bit of a story to tell you guys, you know, about something that just happened to me recently. So, I'll, this actually happened online, of course, it always happens online. But I was playing on Beyond Card Capital, uh, you know, playing online for Vanguard. And, uh, I was testing out my Blau Kluger Nova Grappler deck. Just using some new support cards that haven't been released yet, so I just want to test out some builds. I was playing as Lockheed Procaguero, and basically the guy got salty with me because I did spike a trigger at the end to win the game, but let me go a little bit more detail. So at the beginning, it just started out like normal. We just got our rides off, just normal attacks, yada yada. Um, the difference was his first two damage checks, he hit two draw triggers. So he just had two free cards for no reason. And then while I'm at two damage, I no guarded, I no guarded, excuse me. I no guarded his vanguard, he double critted me. Ugh, so yeah, I was at five damage. The worst part of it is while I was taking off while I was taking this three damage painfully, I hit no triggers, so I'm just like, ugh. So it was terrible. So I, yeah, I, I lost a decent amount of cards just guarding everything else. Luckily he didn't have a fully committed field, but it it still uh it still hurt. But yeah. So you pretty much have to see what kind of situation I was playing out of. The worst part of it is like he every drive check he had he kept he had a heal trigger another draw trigger another critical I mean he just kept like drive checking triggers nonstop and it was like crazy I was like oh my god and I was like good thing uh, good thing I was guarding with two to pass and he didn't have a committed field he had like um, he had his law keeper boosted and then he had two great twos but he had nothing to boost with them thank God thank God he did because thank God he didn't so it was easy to guard. So, this is where the turning point of the game happened. Um, I was pretty much back against the corner. It was more like, I have to try and win this turn. If not, I lose. I already had a committed field. But the fact is, he healed like twice. I, I think he... I, I said he, revealed, he was all one heal trigger. He actually healed twice that game. Which is kind of annoying. So... Uh, so, he was at four damage. I'm at five. I proceeded to attack with my Stern Blau Kluger. And, uh... He had seven cards in his hand. Now, previous turn, he drove check a perfect guard, and I knew he had two uh, two uh, critical triggers still in hand because the critical triggers he drove check he hadn't used in the guard yet, and he had four mystery cards. They were mystery cards because he was all three draw triggers, so I didn't know what those other three cards were. I assumed they were like maybe useless threes or fives. <coughs> excuse me, that he couldn't boost with, which is why he didn't have a fully committed field. And I mean, he had a he drew for his in the card he drew for his previous turn, but he didn't. He didn't call it. He didn't call anything to his reverse circle. It's like, okay. So, I figured he was going to be able to guard everything, but he said no guard on 4 damage. And granted, I only showed one useless critical trigger early, like my first damage, I didn't do anything, as my damage check, and I guarded with one critical trigger. So I only seen two critical triggers the whole game, and I run 8 in my deck. So he said no guard, which is weird. And I was like, okay, no guard. Okay, so you say no guard. I was just double checking to make sure, like... And he was like, yes, I'm sure. And I was like, okay. So I, I drove check. So first check, second check, critical trigger. Bam. I hit the critical trigger. He proceeds to take two damage. Granted, he hit a heal trigger at five damage, but he couldn't... He, he hit a heal trigger at the first damage, but he couldn't heal. And then he proceeded to lose the game. So here's where the salt comes in. See, so he started going off saying that, oh, oh, that was BS, la, la, la. 
you shouldn't have won that game, la la la, which I, he was kind of right, I shouldn't have won that game, but he, it was actually his fault that he misplayed his guarding, but like, yeah, he started insulting me, saying like, well, you're not, I don't even think you're that good this game, la la la, you only won because of triggers, and la la la, tra la la la, so... He then actually proceeded to show me his hand. So I was right with the first three. He had a perfect guard, two 10k shields. I mean, that was obvious. His four mystery cards. He had another perfect guard, another 10k shield, another grade three, a grade three, and a, and a draw trigger. So he had two discard fodders. So he had two discard fodders for his um, perfect guards, and he had three 10ks to deal with. And at this point, I mean, I was guarding so much. At the start of my turn, before my drive check, I literally, I only had one card in my hand. And, you know, that was it. I only had one card in my hand. <laughs> like, it was pretty crazy. And I pretty much told him, I was like, dude, it's not my fault that you chose to misplay. You're right, you should have won that game. You're right, I shouldn't have won that game, but you allowed me to do it. I don't know why, like... You know, and I was just, in, you know, we were going back and forth, and I was really justifying my reason as to why he misplayed, and I was like, dude, I, I showed no triggers. I showed no, I showed like one useless critical trigger, and I had one critical trigger in my hand. I mean, I run eight in my deck. You did not think I wouldn't pull one, and the fact is I, I pulled no triggers all game. I mean, it's only bound to happen. I mean, he could easily just perfect guard in my Vanguard. I told him he could have just perfect guard my Vanguard the first time, guarded my next two attacks, and then proceed to win. Like, that's all he had to do. He had a Law Keeper, he had his Limit Break, he could have just done that. But he didn't do it. Which, I mean, uh, it's not my fault. You misplayed. You misplayed. You allowed, you allowed me the opportunity to win. I mean, yeah, I admit, I was, I, I admit, I was lucky hitting that. I mean, hell yeah, I was lucky hitting that. But you allowed me to do that. I can't help that. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't like pick up my deck and be like, deck, you better give me a trigger or else I'm going to burn you in the fireplace tonight. Well, I don't want to burn this deck. It costs me some money to build it. But yeah, but, you know, he started getting salty with me. Um, you know, and that's really where it comes down. That's really, like I said, the moral, is, the moral of the story is don't, like, just don't, uh, don't get mad with somebody when they hit a trigger. Like, you could be, like, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes you'll get frustrated. Like, I'm frustrated that you hit a trigger. But, I mean, it happens. But don't take it out towards the player. And don't try and, like, berate him, make him feel bad about it. I mean, that's just part of the game. At this point, if you've been playing this game up to this point for a while, you should not, you should already accepted the fact that this happens in the game. That's why in most tournaments, except regionals, you know, hope Bushiro, I hope you're watching this, but most most um, tournaments run two out of three matches because it kind of like if someone gets lucky me lucky I'm in uh, first one game I have a chance to do it second game and I have more chances to redeem myself so it's not like this is a uh, you know he he gets lucky that one time and then I get nothing I have no way to redeem myself people need to accept the fact that triggers happen yeah I'll get frustrated but don't take it out on the player don't ruin the game for somebody else just because. You're salty on the fact that maybe you misplayed. You didn't want. You didn't want to play around that trigger like that. That one guy played. The funny thing with that is, I actually offered him a rematch. I actually offered him a rematch, and he accepted. And I just trashed the. I I just destroyed him. Like, I told him that he misplayed, and <laughs> and I mean he kind of did a similar misplay too as well. But I mean, yeah. I mean I ended up beating him. So, I don't know. It was... Uh, yeah. So that was an... Uh, that was a... Interesting. That was a little interesting experience. I mean, I, I'm not really mad about it. I mean, it's just internet and it's just a fun game. But yeah. That's my sto salt... So that's my salt story for you guys. Um, I'm sure everyone has dealt with this kind of thing before, but... Yeah, guys. That concludes my little ranting today, I guess you can say, my salt stories. If you guys have any salt stories, please, please, please leave a comment below. Let me, I want to know what your guys' experiences are with this, and uh, I definitely want to hear from you guys. Uh, definitely give a thumbs up if you want to see me do some more rant videos like this. Let me know, give me suggestions to rant about stuff, you know. I can talk about almost anything. Vanguard related, that is. So, on that, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.